Hey guys, so long time no see again. I know. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm back today with the 50 random facts tag. And before we get into it, I just want to preface this by saying that I could not think of 50 random facts to share about myself. I mean, I'm sure I could think of 50 things to say about myself, but they wouldn't be interesting. So I decided to kind of shorten the list and keep the good stuff, I guess, in my opinion. Hopefully it's still interesting to you. But the better stuff at least so I don't take up a bunch of your time and speaking of wasting your time I'm going to cut this intro short and get into the video this past March I turned 23 my initials actually spell ass now if you ask my parents they will claim that they had no idea when they named me that my initials were gonna spell ass they didn't notice that my initials would spell ass I'm gonna stop saying it now but anyways, yes, my first name is Ashley, my middle name is Samantha, and my last name starts with an S. So that was fun growing up because in elementary school, whenever we would have to sign our initials on our little projects, I would choose just to go AS instead of ASS because I was embarrassed and I was a little kid and I didn't want to start like cursing or writing curse words when I was like seven years old. So thanks mom and dad. So most people classify themselves as either a dog person or a cat person. And in my mind, I'm kind of just an animal person overall. I like most animals. I like almost all animals actually, except for spiders. I hate spiders. I am currently in the process of making a blog from scratch. I attended the University of Florida for college and I graduated this past December. I bleed orange and blue. I have two degrees, one in telecommunications and one in business administration, and I am currently using neither. <laughs> I have one sibling, I have a little sister, she is two years younger than me and five inches taller. I found that when I really like a song, it's normally because I connect with the melody, and the ones that become my favorites are always ones that just kind of make me feel happy, and I kind of tune in more to how the song's making me feel as opposed to what the song is actually saying with its lyrics. I will wholeheartedly admit that I failed at this whole lose weight with me slash weight loss journey, but I haven't given up and I am getting back into it again. I played soccer for 10 years of my life. I was never good. My last car was 17 years old and it was a trooper. It got me through a lot, but last month I was able to finally purchase a car on my own through my own financing and my own name and that was probably one of the proudest moments of my life. When it comes to friends, my philosophy is definitely quality over quantity. I'm the type of person that has a handful of really close friends and I would choose them over having like a hundred acquaintances any day. I still have a memory of the first time that I ever watched a beauty video on YouTube. I remember that it was around Christmas time of 2009. I was on the homepage of YouTube and there was a suggested video and one of All That Glitters 21 one of her videos came up and it was her Christmas gift guide. And after I watched that video, I was sucked in and pulled into the YouTube vortex and the rest is history. I live about 10 minutes away from the closest beach, but I hardly ever go. I would consider myself to be a pretty good driver, but the one thing that drives me insane is when I'm driving behind someone who's going below the speed limit. I cannot stand that, it drives me crazy, especially when there are clearly posted speed limit signs and you're going under it. it just That's when my road rage comes out. I'm getting frustrated just talking about it. Some of my prior jobs from when I started working when I was 16 include working at Great Wraps, working at a water park as a lifeguard, and working at Pita Pit. I really, really wish that I could sing. When I was five years old, I stole marbles from a bookstore. I was wearing those like really high white socks that were all the rage in the 90s. So I thought I was being slick. I took the marbles and I stuck them in my sock. And I'm talking like a sack of marbles. Like it was not a small amount of marbles. But we got into the parking lot. I thought I was being all slick and decided just to be like, hey, how'd those marbles get there? And my parents were really angry. And I remember I had a friend sleeping over that night and they took her home and they gave me a huge lecture. This might be too much information, but before I sat down to film this video, I heard my cat fart for the first time ever. I've never heard a cat fart before and it was the weirdest thing. 
I've only broken one bone in my entire body in my entire life and that was my ring finger over here and I broke it playing softball and it didn't heal properly so now I can't bend that joint. I absolutely love to travel and the top country on my list of places to visit right now is Australia. I absolutely love making lists. I'm a really firm believer in the saying that everything happens for a reason, but kind of with a little twist on it. I believe that life kind of leads you in the right direction. It'll steer you where it needs to go and provide you with opportunities, but it's your job to kind of take those opportunities and do what you will with it. Some of my favorite bands include Reliant K, who I've been listening to since I was like, 13, <laughs> uh, We The Kings, Weezer, and the three J's, Jack Johnson, John Mayer, and Jason Mraz. I think the best day of my life so far was my 22nd birthday, and I was in London with my boyfriend at the time, and we planned out an entire day. So we started out the day with him making me breakfast, which is always nice, and I wanted to go shopping, so we went to Oxford Circus and walked around there for a while, and then, we went and got macaroons at Lauderay, which were amazing, and it was actually the first time I'd ever tried a macaroon in my entire life. And we finished the day with a ride on the London Eye at sunset. So those are all the facts that I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear some interesting stuff about you guys too, so if you wanna share, then go ahead and leave a comment below, or you can get in touch with me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can find me at Lumiash at all those places and if you would like links they will be down below but that's gonna do it so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye